Yeah, 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 I know you feel like she did this, but you did some jacked up stuff too. You made some mistakes. You chose not to, to go through the healing process that you should have went through prior to getting into this relationship. So I had to own that. And it was when I decided to own that, when I looked myself in the mirror and said, Tommy, you can't blame anybody but yourself, things started to change for y'all. Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome to another episode of the Born Again Bashers podcast. I am your host, Tommy Billups, and I'm excited about today's topic. But before we get started, before we go any further, I need you guys to do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification button so that you can stay up to date um, on when I'm releasing new content so that you catch everything that I'm putting out. All right. So today's topic is a topic that I'm sure will resonate with all of my listeners out there. We're talking about life after divorce. Listen, I know it's hard. I know it's tough. If you're anywhere in the process of divorce, maybe uh, you just filed for divorce or maybe you're further along in that divorce process. Listen, there's life after the divorce papers. Listen, there's joy after divorce court. Come on, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, there's life after this. <laughs> and as funny as that sounds, I know that's the church boy in me. As funny as that sounds, that doesn't come without some requirements. OK, um, you are going to have to put in work to make that thing happen. So today's topic is giving you tips on how to live post divorce, how to live and thrive after going through divorce okay again so if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button let's dive into this all right so listen the first step that i need you all to do is take a deep look into the mirror and i need you to own your stuff listen i know it's easy to point the finger and to 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 blame your ex for everything that went wrong in your in your marriage everything um that's happening now in the divorce but i need you to put on your big boy pants take a look in the mirror and accept the fact that you messed up too <laughs> accept the fact that you made some mistakes and it's completely okay listen you are not defined by your failures you are not your failure but we do have to take into account the decisions that we made and the choices that we chose that put us in this predicament. You know, maybe, you know, you, you chose to be unfaithful or maybe you chose to be in a relationship with somebody that you should have never been in a relationship with. Either way, either side of that spectrum, at the end of the day, there was a choice that you made and there were actions that took place that caused you to be in, in the predicament that you're in now. And you have to own that. Owning that is the first step to truly thriving after divorce. Having uh, some form of self-accountability and being self-aware of the things that, you know, you may have done um, to lead to this point. You know, a lot of times in relationships, we enter relationships with baggage, right? You know, we have deeply rooted issues um, that we never resolve. And we think, I know for me at least, I thought that getting married would solve a lot of those problems. But what I came to find out was that the marriage actually amplified and magnified those issues. So I have to sit back and say, okay, listen, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you feel like she did this, but you did some jacked up stuff too. You made some mistakes. You you chose not to, to go through the healing process that you should have went through prior to getting into this relationship. So I had to own that. And it was when I decided to own that, when I looked myself in the mirror and said, Tommy, you can't blame anybody but yourself, when I decided to do that, things started to change for me. I was no longer bitter. I was no longer angry. I was no longer frustrated. I was able to focus on making sure that I was good so that I could move forward in life. And that's what a lot of you have to do. You have to own your decisions, own your mistakes, own the things that you did to cause your marriage to dissolve. Listen, this may take you to sit down and actually think about and write down all the things that you can think of that you did wrong. 
Now, again, this isn't a shame thing, right? This isn't a, a thing like, yo, it's all your fault. But this is a reality check for you to realize that, hey, listen, I had some problems and I made some poor choices. I need to recognize this. So moving forward, I never make these choices again. So in order to do that, you have to own your stuff. Take responsibility for your actions. And I promise it's the first step to freedom. So you have to do that in order to uh, to move forward. Listen, now that you've owned your stuff, it's time for us to find community. It's time for you to find a crew. You know, I know you may be tempted to go off and isolate yourself from everything that's going on because you want to get away from it all. You want to get away from everybody. You want to you you feel like because society told you that you need to be a man and you need to just thug it out. Right. And, and deal with these issues by yourself. When in reality, that's the furthest thing from the truth. You need community. You need people. You cannot navigate this process alone by yourself. So it's very important that you find a crew, that you find a community that you can join, that's going to walk through life with you, that's going to be there by your side, that's going to keep you accountable, that's going to let you know, hey, listen, you messing up, man, let's get back on track. They're not going to judge you, but they will point out when, hey, yo, you slipping, let's get back on track. And they're going to walk through life with you. If you don't have a community, it's really hard to navigate life after divorce because you're going to be stuck. It's, it's, it's almost like being on a... Uh, being shipwrecked, right? You know, out at sea and you're just drifting further and further from the shore. You'll never get to that place of freedom because you're drifting away. You need to be in community with people. So I, I challenge you right now. I challenge you, you know, as you listen to this, start thinking about people that you can rely on. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe you don't have people right now. Maybe you need to seek out these people, right? Join a Facebook community. Join a church. Join uh, uh, some type of community that's going to surround you with people who are like-minded people who have been through what you've been through and came out on top. Listen, I can't tell you how big of an impact it was for me um, when I joined the community. You know, when I first got my divorce, I felt like it was just me. I felt like I was the only person going through what I was going through. I felt like nobody would understand me. I felt like everywhere I went, I wore a shirt that said, I'm divorced, stay away from me, right? But it wasn't until I joined the community and I found guys who were in my situation, who have been through my situation and have came out on top and they're healed and they're thriving. And they look at me like, yo, it's okay. We get it. Let's go. You need that in your life. So I challenge you to find yourself a community, join it. And I, that's that's one of the next steps that you have to take in order to live that life that you want to live. Listen, we want to win in life, right? We don't want to be stuck in moments um, and, and we make monuments in those moments and live in those moments forever. We want to be free to be able to move on. It happened. It's over with. Now it's time to move forward. So find you a community now. OK, this is a word that a lot of men don't like to hear. The big T word therapy. I know, I know, I know, I know society has told us that we we, uh, we are men. We need to be tough. We need to, you know, we need to figure it out on our own. No, you don't need to figure it out on your own. You don't have to figure it out on your own. That's what therapy is for. Listen. Sometimes there are some deeply rooted issues that we aren't even aware of. And it's not until we sit down on somebody's couch, a professional, of course, and start talking through some of those childhood traumas, some of those past things that happened that we realize, yo, we got some deeply rooted issues that's causing a lot of things to go wrong in my life. You know, it may not just be impacting your relationship. It may be impacting your finances. It may be impacting your relationship with your kids. It may be impacting your ability to be in relationship with people in general. But if you never go to therapy, you will never get to the root of those issues, right? So find you a therapist. Find you a therapist that you like. You know, a lot of people go to therapy and they may get a therapist that sucks, right? And they feel like, see, I tried it. I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. I'm not, I'm not doing this no more. No, no, that's not what you need to do. If the therapist sucks, just find another therapist. Don't give up on it. I promise you, if you go to therapy, it will be beneficial to you. You will learn things about yourself that you would other, otherwise never knew. So I challenge you to get to therapy. Not only that, take care of yourself. We hear the word self-care and we think that that's a female thing. We think that that's something that only women do. No, us fellas, we, we got we to gotta do some self-care too. 
You need to go lay up in, at a spa and, and get some spa treatment. You need to go to the gym and work out. You need to go to the barbershop and get trimmed up to look nice. You need to take a freaking shower and smell good. All these things are beneficial to your well-being. And if you don't do them, you'll be sitting at home depressed, stinking. <laughs> and, and, and don't be depressed and stinking because it's just going to make the situation worse. So it's very important that you take care of yourself. You know, and you take care of yourself by going to therapy, talking to somebody about your issues, taking time out of your day to make sure that you're good, changing your diet, exercising, reading more, okay? Every part of your body, I mean, every part of your life needs to be changed. Your, your physical, your spiritual, your mental, your emotional, every part of you needs to be changed in order to reach that, that life that you want to you wanna achieve. You, you, you want a better life than what you have now, right? You can achieve that. There's no magic pill that's going to make that happen. There's no snap of the finger that's going to make that happen. The only thing that can make that happen is you. And to do that, you have to do these things. So to wrap all of this up, listen, fellas, I, I know it's hard, right? I know that it's frustrating, right? Maybe you're in a situation where, you know, it's a messy divorce where all everybody that you know and love has turned their back on you because maybe your ex has start, started a rumor about you or, or spread lies about you. Now everybody thinks that you're just this terrible jerk. Or maybe you're fighting for custody for your kids. Or maybe it's just the fact that you got to put out all of this money and it's draining you financially and it leads to you being depressed. Listen, I get it. I've been there. But you can live after this. This is only temporary. This ain't gonna last forever. It may be drawn out for a while, but I promise you at some point it's gonna end. And when it ends, where do you wanna be? When it ends, who do you wanna be? You need to define that right now in order to live the life that you wanna live, in order to become the best version of yourself. I know that's become a cliche now. We hear that every guru is telling you, oh, we wanna make you the best version of yourself and this and that. No, listen, I really want you to win. I really want you to become the best version of yourself. Whatever that looks like for you, that's what I want you to become. And in order to do that, you have to do all of these things. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and acknowledge, yo, I messed up. I, I shouldn't have did that. I, I, that was a dumb decision. You have to acknowledge those things, right? You have to get in community with people, people that will love you, people that will walk through life with you. And you have to take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You have to do all of these things. When you do these things, I promise you, you're going to live the best life you've ever lived in your life. So thank you for watching this episode. Um, continue to follow me. If you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe to this channel. Um, go ahead, uh, put the notifications on so that you're notified when I release new content. Listen, we are winners. All right. You're my bachelors. That's what I'm gonna call y'all now. Okay. My bachelors. That's what you are. We're here uh, because we want to redefine what it looks like to be a bachelor. We ain't trying to make players. We ain't trying to make, you know, guys that's just out here. We, we, I want you to be solidified. I want you to be um, confident in who you are as a single man living in this new world, this new experience. You've never been here before. Maybe you have, maybe you've been divorced before, but listen, if you listen to me, I promise you this your life will change for the better. I'm not saying I'm the greatest, I have all the answers, but from my experience that I wanna share with you, I promise you, if you just take heed to some of the things that I'm saying, you'll see the change in your life. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode.